How's it going guys and welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have the E-Flight um, airplane and it is the UMX Twin Otter. Now I had its bigger brother, the 1.2 meter uh, Otter and it had lights, it was really nice looking. It did have a blue scheme. This one is red and this has been out for a little while now and uh, I'm really, really happy that I finally pulled the trigger on it. Now, um, UMX planes are awesome that they're fully assembled in the box, ready to go. You are gonna need a few things, which we'll get into here in a second. Uh, there is optional floats, which is kind of cool. They technically give you uh, the mounting hardware, and then you just gotta order the floats uh, separately for it. Uh, really quickly, we'll flip it around. This is a skill level two. Of course, it is the bind and fly. So you are uh, going to need a few things. Um, uh, it is. It does have safe. It has AX3X. It has LED uh, navigation lights. It has landing lights. It runs on a single cell uh, battery, 1S power, brushless motors, uh, counter turning uh, three uh, bladed props. So a lot of scale detail, very beautiful plane. It looks identical to its bigger brother, just much smaller and then the red scheme. So I'm like super excited about this one. I've been wanting this one for a little while. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and then we'll go over what you also need uh, to kind of complete this. So I'm gonna set this down just to make it a little bit easier. We'll flip this up and there she be. So like I said, UMX planes are always built. So all you have to do is peel this tape carefully because you do want to keep this box. Uh, what will happen is these planes are very easy to damage. Um, most planes will get hangar rash from just like transporting them, uh, especially the little ones. The damage could be catastrophic. So I would definitely uh, keep this. Just peel the tapes up and then you can actually tape them back down. Um, I've had... A few UMX uh, planes on the channel. If you want to see any other ones, you'll go to the channel. Uh, we had the Radiant. We also had the Citation Longitude. So check those out if you're interested in any of those. It does seem to have this clear film over it, which kind of protects the plane. We'll go ahead and peel that off. So this is just to keep it uh, from getting all banged up and scratched up, I guess. And transport, Pro I'm not probably going to put this on anymore once I put it back in here. Uh, it seems to fit really, really nicely. So here's the plane. Let's go ahead and set it down for a second. Make sure we have everything out of the contents package. So it looks like this is the, uh, this is how you attach the floats. So these will snap in underneath the plane. Uh, and then you also get a piece of, uh, Velcro tape which you will need to add to your battery now I wish they would have gave you more than one in case you get more than one battery of course you can buy um, more uh, Velcro so let's see how many pieces they actually give you so this hardware you will not need unless you get the floats so we'll put that kind of back in here and I'm just curious to see how many pieces they give you because I would imagine most folks would have at least two batteries for this plane and you that's the only way to actually mount the battery is by Velcro. So I'm hoping they at least gave us two, which they did not. They gave it, I thought, well, nope. I thought it was two pieces, it's just one. So unfortunately, one battery is only gonna get Velcroed for now until I get more or find some similar Velcro. There are different types of Velcro, so beware. A lot of them will not stick to each other. So I'll put that back in there. There also should be a manual under here. Here we go. Uh, this is gonna be 
Wow, they put a lot of tape on this little guy. There we go. Now, um, maybe they'll have like another piece of Velcro in the manual, I'm hoping. Nope, they do not. So we'll go ahead and ditch the tape. Let's open this up quickly. See what we have in here. It's just basic instructions. Um, this all is bind and fly. It just tells you how to set up the radio, how to set up different stuff. It tells you all the details, um, you know, troubleshooting, uh, how to uh, use safe select and all that fun stuff. So definitely look at that. You also get a little sticker from eFlight. So not bad at all. We'll set that to the side. So that's all the contents you get there. Uh, so let's look at the plane really quickly. So very beautiful plane, exactly same stabilizer, vertical little stabilizers here, uh, same, you know, navigation and landing lights, same three baited plops that are counter turning. So it helps it, uh, uh, helps it, you know, be a lot more stable, uh, helps it kind of go straight better. Uh, steerable nose gear. It looks like it's a steerable nose gear. I hope it is. Uh, maybe not. Now I think about it. Nope, it is not a steerable nose gear. Uh, you do get a rudder there. So you get a rudder, you get an elevator, and then you get two ailerons. No flaps. That would be crazy if this had flaps, but it doesn't have no flaps. Nice little foam wheels. Uh, seem like they would be low bounce. You can see the cutouts here and here for the floats. So that's where you would insert the mounting hardware, of course, with the floats. So you won't have to buy those separately. Um, a couple of holes for ventilation, let out air, kind of go through the plane. Uh, very nice sticker scheme. Just looks absolutely legit. Looks like it's just a little model and I cannot believe this is remote control. UMX has come a long way. The quality and the performance, is, it's crazy. Now these are the servos, our linear little servos. They work really, really well. They're just micro, very small servos. Uh, they do have adjustability, see the holes? So you can move those in different positions. Same thing with the uh, elevator. And then the rudder. Oh, it has no rudder. I apologize, guys. No, no rudder at all. I thought it did, but it does not have rudder. So keep that in mind. So you are going to have to bank and yank with this one. No rudder. My apologies. No steerable nose gear. Um, but... I'm sure it has some kind of uh, some vertical, some kind of thrust or something to help it turn. If not, you can obviously just bank it and then turn. So you have different ways of flying this aircraft. Uh, that would have been cool if it had a rudder, but it does not have it, so I apologize. Uh, it does state that it is a four channel plane, which I don't really see four channels unless, um, unless that fourth channel is for uh, uh, controlling uh, you know the throttle on each side so it allows it to uh, to turn with the uh, uh, individual thrust sorry I couldn't think of that uh, the hatch is removable from the front it does have a tab and of course a couple magnets uh, and then it is a JST connection there technically is no binding plug how you bind these is these will typically always uh, search for a signal and then you would bind it to your transmitter uh, JST connection you are going to need a single cell battery uh, they recommend a um, 1s 800 milliamp battery so what I also got with the plane now they currently have a sale I apologize if uh, I'll try to put the links in there uh, I know this plane new was like 169 or 65 uh, but it had a sale for like 120 so it was absolutely a steal. Um, so I'll try to put a link. If you could catch it on that, I'll definitely get it for that price. It's like a spring sale or something. And then you're also going to need your batteries. Now, some of you guys may have, um, you know, um, single cell batteries. Uh, I know some guys have like 300 milliamps. It recommends from a 300 to 800. I would personally do uh, 800s. If it was me, that's what I would do. You get a lot more flight time. And these Spectrum batteries are very nice. We are gonna quickly just open one. Uh, I love Spectrum batteries. Uh, of course, you get another little thing. Uh, if you wanna get free brand swag, 
uh, for just registering a new product. You get that little card in here. We'll just set that to the side for now. So it's a small little battery, 800 milliamp single cell, 30C is the discharge rating, 1S. So uh, nice little JST connector. So uh, what you're also gonna need besides this battery is you're gonna have to provide your own transmitter. It could be a DX8E, it could be uh, NX6, it could be an NX8, just any spectrum uh, re uh, transmitter that will bind to that. Uh, four channel minimum. Um, so this one's a uh, NX8 to bind it. And then um, you're also obviously gonna need a charger with a uh, JST lead to be able to charge the batteries. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just throw one in and show you the lights. We're not gonna fly it today. Uh, we're gonna have to get up to the airfield and do a proper maiden. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it performs. I'm surprised that a twin engine is a, a 1S, but supposedly it has plenty of power. So what we'll do is we'll slap that bad boy in there, set her down on level ground. We don't need to put the hatch on. I guess we could put it for looks. <laughs> it looks so good. Let me turn it this way. Okay. Want to make sure your throttle's all the way down. I already set up um, the name and everything. So all I need to do is bind it. So to bind it, you would hold your bind plug and then turn it on. Show on the screen. It says binding. And then it says DXM. And it also has telemetry. So we are bound. It's auto configuring. Um, it auto configured. So it knew what switches need to be what uh, so we'll go ahead and just test it really quickly so ailerons right one needs to go up then left one needs to go up that's correct up down is elevator elevator is working and we'll give it a little taste of throttle El uh, throttle is working as well it should also be ax 3x meaning see how it's wanting to find back the level hit this switch and then it won't do it. So you can actually turn off AX3X. Uh, I recommend obviously having throttle hold. Let's see if it's working. Nope, throttle hold is not set up yet. And I also recommend setting a timer. Check the booklet for all that. This is not a detailed setup video. This is more kind of an unboxing and a quick re review of it. Uh, let's give it a little throttle. So this should be plenty for power to weight ratio. We'll go ahead and turn off the safe so it's a little bit quieter. So, um, counter. So you can see the landing lights are these two lights right here. Then, of course, you have uh, navigation lights flashing on each corner. Red is always going to be on your left side of your wing. Green is going to be on your right. And then you also get a navigation light that flashes on top. So very scale looking aircraft, absolutely beautiful. It looks like a model that it wouldn't fly. It's crazy. Um, it seems to have plenty of power. So let me show you the, see if it has the uh, um, thrust management. So watch when I use rudder. Let's see. See that? See that? So if I hit left, that one turns to the left. I hit right, it turns to the right. So it uses, instead of having a rudder, it uses thrust to turn. So it'll be similar. It'll allow you to turn on the ground and it'll allow you to turn in the air. So that's a really, really nice touch. Um, absolutely beautiful aircraft. I definitely recommend getting more than one battery because I guarantee this is gonna be fun to fly. 800 milliamps should give you plenty of flight time. I definitely recommend keeping the box to protect us because it'd be so easy to break that uh, by transporting and carrying it unless you're very, very careful. It is small enough. This is one of the smaller UMX boxes. Um, the Longitude is much bigger than this one. And the even the uh, uh, Tomcat has a bigger uh, 
uh, box, which technically that one is not UMX, that one is 4S power. Even that one has a little bit bigger box than this one. So one of the smaller boxes definitely. And it's just gorgeous. Uh, we'll have to see how it flies. Uh, so that's how it uses the the four channels. You have your ailerons, which uses one channel. You have your elevator, which uses one channel. And then uh, it breaks up the throttle into two channels, allowing it to have uh, thrust vectoring. So it is a four channel aircraft. Um, I'll have to see how long of a flight time. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. Absolutely charge your battery before you fly. You don't want to kill this battery. It has not been charged. Uh, typically, they will charge the battery to about storage voltages. So it's fine to just plug it in. Let's just check it out. But I would definitely uh, charge this before you fly. Uh, they just make really good quality batteries. I will give them credit where it's due. I've had other batteries and Spectrum really knocked it out of the park. I don't have any smart chargers yet. I'll have Gen, uh, G2 batteries. I think I have a couple of G2 batteries, um, but no G2 charger yet. Honestly, I could program myself what to charge it at. It is nice just plugging it in and knowing what to charge at without having to hit it on the screen. So there is convenience there. I get it. It's, you know, hands painless. Uh, it will, you know, storage charge for you to do a bunch of fancy stuff. So I get that completely. Uh, of course, I can manually do it as well. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, right now with it like I said we'll get at the airfield fly it have some fun uh, I highly highly recommend the 1.2 meter bigger brother it is a fun flyer it's still skill level 2 just like this one uh, the only reason I think this one's skill level 2 is because the small it is and supposedly it does uh, it does have a little pep um, and these smaller aircrafts can be trickier sometimes to fly but I think they did a great job. I have no issue with no uh, uh, rudder, as long as they have the thrust, uh, thrust vectoring, which is huge. Uh, that makes up for that, and I'm completely satisfied. The lights are beautiful, the scheme, the quality is beautiful. Uh, the batteries are cheap. We'll have to see what the flight times are uh, with this battery compared to the other ones they recommend. Just make sure you have a timer and make sure you have a throttle cut so you don't accidentally bump the throttle and cut your finger because these are pretty sharp, believe it or not. So there you have it, guys, the Otter, uh, UMX Otter, beautiful plane. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. That's going to do it for this one. Stay tuned. I may fly this at a park or something. This is definitely a park flyer, not only an airfield flyer. So we'll see what happens uh, with the maiden flight. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.